State your name and your occupation. Harrigan Blue. Detective, lawyer, doctor, whatever you want me to be, okay? I'll be your freaking mother. Alright, listen. We're trying to work with you here, okay? So let's cut the, uh, the sarcastic crap. You're on probation, remember? If you don't fix this problem, you could land 10 years in federal prison. Uh, yeah, I remember the first time you told me, okay? But listen up, get the sand out of your ears. There's been some serious crime going on in the Tompkins area. I'm talking federal. A case so hot, not even the FBI, the SWAT, or the Department of Defense want to dip their toes in. The thing is, I ain't no FBI. I'm freaking Harrigan Blue. Stay focused. This case is nuclear. A tough one. The death of Kim units. Units? Wasn't she the, uh, the, the philanthropist? Why would anyone want to kill her? She was loved! She's not just a philanthropist. She's also the head chairwoman of the Clear Desk Red Pen Association. What is that? It's a visual anti-group. A group that's personally responsible for stopping 50% of the drug trafficking trade line. A real crime killer personally responsible for nipping any new drug on the market. Okay, but what, what does that have to do with anything? Three words. O-T-L. O-T-L? The bare minimum cartel, or O-T-L. It's the toughest organized crime group in the nation, personally responsible for transporting over 2.5 million kilos of Pascals each year. The thing is, OTL has beef with the Clear Desk Red Pen Association, especially after Kim units decided to tighten the grip on OTL. So OTL is at hand. It's not that easy. It's not really the organization. It's the leader, Dr. Pressure. He or she is behind this mess. I'm almost certain Dr. Pressure is the murderer of Kim units. Well, shucks! Yeah, I know, but I found this letter I'm pretty sure it was mailed to me by Dr. Pressure. My god, what is this? P equals F over A. P equals P naught plus DHG. This is insane! An uncrackable code. What kind of sick mastermind would do this? I can solve it. Here again. You don't understand. The SEC's breathing done her next to find the culprit. You better solve this now. Heck, the case. In fact, you've got 24 hours, or your probation will turn into a prison sentence. Oh, so you're a tough guy now, huh? Do you know who you're talking to? I'm freaking Harrigan Blue, okay? Let me do my job. It's like a chess game. Give me some time. And then, checkmate. Oh, Mr. Blue. So, we analyzed the body extensively. One bullet hole to the heart, some chains on the limbs, no fingerprints, nothing. Whoever this Dr. Pressure guy is, he must be a professional. I wonder what those chains are for. We also got this letter at the near scene of crime. It seemed pretty similar to the one you got before. You're right. FB equals DVG. FB equals DVG. You think it's initial something? Maybe someone Dr. Pressure knows? Um, I don't know. FB equals DVG. Daniel. Daniel? DVG. Daniel Van Geffen. Oh, I remember him. He's a low life Pascal dealer I arrested way back. I know he worked with Dr. Pressure. No, he's a rat, all right. 
Let's have a little chat with him. He'll talk. Oh, he'll talk. Hey, what's up? Man? Hey, what's up, Daniel? Huh? Hey. Hey. What's going on? Let's talk. Oh, I, I can't really talk right now. I'm kind of busy. That's funny, because I don't remember asking a question. Yep. Ah! Oh. Oh. I didn't do anything, Harrigan, I swear, I swear I didn't do anything. That's funny, because why do I see your initials, DVG, at the scene of the crime of Kim Unit, huh? Why do I see that? No, 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 it's, it's the buoyant force. What? F of B equals DVG. I remember because I, I remember talking to Dr. Pressure, I was saying he was going to whack some girl. Go on. He had to hide the body using the buoyant force. That's all I know. Fine. So, so am I good? Yeah, look at it. No, 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 no! Is pressure, sorry, pressure, is equal to the force at the bottom, which is Hi, what did Harrigan learn? Well, he learned the buoyant force. The buoyant force is density times volume times gravitational field strength, which you can see right here. Where did that come from? Well, that came from this image, which is a block submerged in water, in which the pressure on the bottom of the object is larger than the pressure on the top because of this equation. This pressure on the bottom has a height, meaning that there's a larger total pressure on the bottom, uh, which means that the object will actually be pushed up. And that's what buoyant force is. This is a force diagram uh, model in which the force supply of the water plus the force supply of the air is what the buoyant force is. And we can simplify it down to here. So the last thing I want to say is that the buoyant force is the same for a fully submerged object versus an object that is deeper in the fluid. What I mean by that is that an object that is fully submerged here versus that is way deeper is the same because the displaced volume has already been fully displaced, meaning that the buoyant force has reached a maximum. So when Dr. Pressure was calculating this, he wanted the F of G to be larger. The issue was he didn't calculate the uh, chain mass and that caused him to have a miscalculation and for her body to flow up. And that's why she's wrong. Hey, Commissioner, I got a lead on this killer, this rat. I mean, a couple more hours and he's mine. You guys make him so much smarter than he actually is. This wise crap. I do a little of my own research and I find out he's trying to sink this girl down to Atlantis land. But he's so dumb, he doesn't even know how to use the boiler force. I mean, come on. Why does he even call himself a doctor? Why? Sit down. All right. Said you had 24 hours to solve this case. 24, not 25, not 30, 24 hours. And according to my watch, it's past your bedtime, Harrigan. It's over. The police will escort you out. There's no way it's been 24 hours. I made sure of it. There's at least four hours left. Well, uh... You know what's weird, too? You seem awfully annoyed about the jokes I made about Dr. Pressure. It's as if you like him. Or you're friends with him. You made the same mistake missing the four like Dr. Pressure. Maybe you are Dr. Pressure. Bravo! You figured me out. You're too good, Harrigan. I'm bringing you to justice, you monster. Go on. Try to arrest me. I think it'll be a little hard with this pressure bomb. What? Uh-oh, Harrigan. You're looking a little blue. Didn't expect this, did you? Ha 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 ha. Let me tell you something about pressure. Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm here to explain what Dr. Pressure meant. So here's the equation, pressure equals to force over area. So take example over here. If the force is the same for both cases, and with a smaller area, you're gonna have a higher pressure, which is why your feet will hurt. 
when the area is larger for this case then you're gonna have a small smaller pressure which is why the head is still happy and say yay the unit for pressure is pascal which is also equals to newton over meter squared and here's the second equation final pressure equals to initial pressure plus density times height times gravitational field strength and under for, for most cases your initial pressure is pressure of air which is equals to one atmosphere or 101 times 101 300 pascals the three most important key points that you need to learn from this is that first a connected liquid has the same height and here's the example the second in hydrostatic equilibrium pressure is the same in all points on the same horizontal line and the last pascal's principle which is a change in pressure is the same in all points in a fluid. How is that even relevant? I don't know. Maybe because I have a bomb. Hold on. You're done, Harrigan! You're done! Bye-bye, Harrigan Blue! Actually... No! No! Checkmate, baby.